<laughs> hello, hello. My name is Pablo. This over here is Milo. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the new Unity update and my favorite feature from it. So Unity just released their new version 2021.2 into the text stream. Basically, text stream just means that it's fairly stable, but it does have new features. Uh, LTS is the other stream they have, and that's the long-term support. So there's a lot of changes in this thing. Uh, you can see this release notes is pages and pages and pages and pages, and buried among them is my favorite change. A shader graph added, added a new target, and then over here is the link for the built-in render pipeline. So if you ever tried to use shader graph uh, on the standard render pipeline, you know it doesn't work. Uh, and now here, buried among 40,000 changes or something, there's one single line that says, hey, it works now. So to use that, you need to have installed the 2021.2 version, which we have here. And then you can go into your projects and create a new project. And over here where you define the version, you can see 2021.2. And I'm just gonna select 3D, no URP, no HDRP. So this is like the standard one. And I'm just gonna say over here, uh, test shader graph. Oop. So once you're in, in the project, you actually cannot use it right away. So if you go to create shader, it's still not there. This is all the old stuff. You, in the case of uh, SRP specifically, you don't have to do this in URP or in HDRP. You actually have to go into the package manager, which you can find over here. And then once it loads, you gotta go to the unit registry and look for a uh, shader graph, which is over here and install it. And actually, while we're here, I can show you one of the new features from the update. Basically, it's like a bundle of packages. So, for example, they're saying, okay, if you're going to develop AR, then you're going to need AR Foundation, AR Kit, AR Core, Magic Leap, AR Kit, and OpenXR, right? So, it's like for you to grab like uh, bundles of packages that are useful for a particular task that you're going to do. And the reason they're doing this is because obviously as Unity has been going more and more into the package world, it's getting more and more confused. What things do I need? What things do I don't need? So they're hoping to make this as a way for people to more straightforwardly say, okay, well, I'm going to do 2D. I should grab all of this stuff. Now that you install Shader Graph, you can directly here, just going to create, and then now you have an entry for Shader Graph. You can do built-in and then loot Shader Graph. As you can see, now this is here, double click it, and boom, you got a shader graph right here. Let's make a material out of it, uh, create a material, and then uh, in our scene, let's create a little, uh, little sphere over here, so 3D object, let's make a sphere, let's get real close to it, and let's apply our shader graph, and then just so that you see that it is in fact this one, let's change it just to, let's just change the color for now, we save it, and when we see it here, our shader is working. Now, obviously, you know, a, a red ball is not that entertaining, so let me make a quick little shader just to show it off. And there you have it. That's a shader made with a shader graph on the standard render pipeline. Uh, we made this little uh, wavy thingy and you can see we can tweak the chaos here. Do we want full chaos or less chaos? It's kind of cool. I mean, it was just like a quickie thing, but as you can see, you can do all sorts of things now with shader graph on the standard render pipeline. Another addition that I really liked from this uh, update is that now in Shader Graph you have categories. So you can see here I'm putting this under Fresnel, this under Pattern, this under UV. And basically over here you can now create a new category and it just creates an empty category here. And inside of this one now you can rename it to whatever you want. And also if you select it then you can add like a Vector 2 for example and now it's inside of that. And if you look at this uh, in the editor everything will be inside the, the categories that you set up. So it's much better to organize whatever you're making. A couple other things that I liked that are not shader graph related, but they're kind of cool. They changed how the overlays work. So now you have this little window here to, with all the controls, you know, for the rotation and the scaling and all of that stuff. Now it's floating. All this stuff is now, you can also detach it and just put it wherever you want. And the other thing they did is over here in the transform component, now you can turn on and off for proportional scaling. So if you turn it on, now when you adjust it, you can see Yine Jetty, small Yeti but now it all grows at the same time instead of having to type it every time. Personally, I almost always use the scaling uh, at, in uh, a uniform way, so, you know, it's a pretty convenient change. 
Uh, so that's it. Basically, now you can use a shader graph on the standard render pipeline. The cool thing is once you make one for the standard render pipeline, if you then want to pass it into the URP or the HDRP, it's actually pretty simple. The, there's an output that you can select like different outputs for each one of the rendering pipelines and all your all the logic for your shader can remain the same uh, and then you can reuse it across different pipelines. So that is a it's a pretty, pretty good thing because now you can start building shaders that then you can use in the future if you ever jump into URP or HDRP. If you found this video useful, please give it a like, subscribe, uh, leave me down a comment. What is it? Something that you like from this update? There's so many patch notes that I haven't gone through all of them. So, you know, maybe you will like something that I don't even know that is in there. So much appreciated if you have some hidden gems to share. Uh, and also, if you ever want to watch me, I stream on twitch.tv slash Pablo Makes uh, on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Hope to see you there. I do a lot of stuff like this. In fact, this tutorial is being recorded live on Twitch right now. So, you know, that's kind of how it goes. Hope to see you there. And until then, take care. Adios. Well, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when new videos come out. Thanks for watching.